didn't trust this other anchor at all because we were always having to go and reset it. It's just, it's nerve wracking when it's in the middle of the night and you've got a storm hit or a bunch of wind and you can't trust your anchor. What's going on everybody? This is Gus One Bear. Now today, we're gonna show you our new anchoring setup that we got for the boat. Our boat is a 2004 23 foot Sea Fox Cuddy Cabin. Now we love this boat. The only thing that this model boat comes with a very small anchor locker. So we make do with what we have and try to come up with a better solution. So if you follow our channel, you know that we love to spend the night out on the boat and we've been really having a hard time staying at anchor especially in rough situations like this. This is one of the many times that we have come off anchor and no matter how much line we let out, once the storm is rolling in, we start dragging. So it's a very unnerving situation, not having confidence in your anchor and its ability to hold. So we figured it was time to put some thought into our anchoring system and hopefully we can have a peace of mind while we are anchored at night. Stay tuned, you're watching Two Bears Outdoors. All right, let's start with the rope. The original rope that came with the boat, it's a three strand. Most of you that have dealt with a three strand rope quickly realize how easy this type of rope could tangle up. All right, so here you have a comparison of two different types of ropes and also diameter. To the left, you have the three strand, which is a half inch of diameter. And to the right, I have a double braided nylon, which is a three eighth. You could tell that the double braided nylon is smoother and also a lot thinner. What they call the tensile strength of this line is uh, 4,000 pounds. So tensile strength is basically um, the maximum strength or pull that it can withstand under pressure uh, before breaking. The double braided nylon rope is gonna play a very significant role to be able to fit a lot more line into your boat's smaller anchor locker. Now this particular type of rope will not tangle as easily as the three strand rope. So it sits very nicely in your compartment without knotting. All right, folks, don't get me wrong. We much rather have the half inch rope, which is stronger. But in this particular situation, we ended up using the three eighths, where we were able to accommodate more rope. The half inch, we were only able to put 100 feet of rope and it was really cluttered in there. It tangled up, it was always a mess. With the three eighths, we are able to add 50 more feet of rope and still have a little bit more room in the anchor locker where it's not as cluttered. And then the, the line comes up out of here. So the other rope was bigger and thicker so it would always get jammed up underneath. So another reason why we decided to get another anchor road, one that was smaller. Because I knew we were gonna have a little more room for more line. Um, but again, I can't really add any more than 10 feet because all of my anchor chain has to stay on the bow, on the deck. So I have to wind it around and I don't have too much real estate right there to work with. Yeah, that, the cover for the chain, I just happened to see that and I thought, you know what, that would be great because I know we have some spider cracks on our deck. Um, there's a, some on the bow and I know that's come from when the chain is hit. Um, you know, there was some previously before us and I'm sure I've caused a few of them too. So you still have to well, be gentle with your chain, but it'll help. We actually started marking our rope. And you notice, <laughs> you see those four bars? That is letting us know that it's about 40 feet out, okay? So we'll They're in color codes. What we did was one band is 10 feet, two bands is 20, 
three bands is 30. Of course, five bands is 50. This is blue. So then from blue, we turn to green. The green, again, one band is 10, all the way to 50. And then the last set of bands is in red. So that way we could actually know how much line we have out. So we came up with the idea to mark our rope because I'm not good at guessing uh, distance. And so I was having a hard time kind of figuring out how much line I actually had in the water. That you really need to know how, what your depth is and then how much line you're letting out. Because the deeper you are, the more line you're gonna have to let out and the, the worse the weather, so on and so forth. So you can look up how to figure that out. But I needed to know how much was I putting in? 10, 20, 30, 40 feet. So we got these acrylic markers and we're gonna put a link to all the different items that we use to set up our anchor road and our anchor um, in the links below. You'll find all of that. So, um, but anyway, because all, all these things we got off Amazon. And these beautiful heavy duty stainless steel shackles. Yes, folks, we upgraded those too. I think the upgrade is a necessity. So we went ahead and switched out our old anchor and replaced it with a Mantis. And I'll tell you what, folks, what a game changer. This has been a really good investment and a perfect anchor for what we need. It's really well for where we tend to be most, which is in the Keys. And muddy there's bottom. a lot of muddy, mucky, or sandy bottom. So this thing, when it, boy, when it sets in, it sets really well. Yeah. And if you turn a little, it just turns and it just resets itself. Now we know there's many different brands of plow anchors that works just as good. But of course, we chose the Mantis and we're really happy with it. I hope you can benefit from this video. Again, everything that we have purchased to make this system work for us, um, I will have them on the description down below. So once again, thank you very much. Y'all take care, and you're watching Two Bears Outdoors. Come on. Listen to me I've tried so many times to tell you This is as good as I can There is pee cup etiquette To pee or not to pee Who really pees in a cup? That is the question Did he just recite Shakespeare? Honey, this is for documentary I don't care! Document your own self taking a leak. What are you using? What are you using?